Last month, the Extreme Sailing Series went stateside to Fan Pier, Boston, where a classic battle played out between Sweden's Artemis Racing and Emirates Team New Zealand. For three days, Artemis was in the box seat. But in the double points final race, the Kiwi team snatched victory from the hands of skipper Terry Hutchinson. This month, the series returned to the other side of the Atlantic at Britain's historic sailing venue, Cowes. In wet and wild conditions, Artemis Racing's run of bad luck continued. On day two, they collided with early leaders, Group Edmund de Rothschild, as they tacked around the top mark. Both teams were judged to have been at fault, but it was Artemis that suffered the biggest blow. Their regatta was over, just as conditions were getting tasty. British 49er sailor John Pink is a newcomer on the Extreme Sailing Series. His background is fast and skittish sailing. And it didn't take long for the power of a 40-footer to give Pink an interesting moment. Coming down that run, it just all got very close and the breeze kind of seemed to fill in a little bit behind, so everyone bunched up a little bit and, and then, yeah, we had nowhere to go. <laughs> Last year, local sailor Paul Campbell James won this event with the Wave Muscat. This year, he's back in Cowes, helming America's Cup team Luna Rossa, while his good friend and fellow local Lee McMillan has taken the top job on the Wave. I basically grew up sailing here, and um, yeah, it's my favourite place to sail. I grew up here on the Isle of Wight, so I think it's fair to say that I've spent a lot of time just on this very patch of water. It's a unique place, you know. You have such such a lot of tide, such a random breeze, you know, there's rocks everywhere, there's shallow spots, there's, you know, wind bends. You know, it's, it's a real place where you need to know the area and um, yeah, I'm hoping that that will uh, give us a good advantage. When the wind and the tide turns and the wind's pumping, it's just the, the it's full on, it's the hardest conditions you can sail in, the chop's really high and, and the boats are pushed right to the edge, so the adrenaline's uh, absolutely at the max. Last year we um, really stamped our mark on the series by not only winning here but we um, you know we, we won with a few races to spare. So we both had a great event it was a real step up for us last year to get a, into second place so I think we're both hoping to hopefully battle it out again it would be it'd be great if we can uh, do the same uh, here again this year it'd be even better if it was the other way around obviously. <laughs> Lee's always been my biggest rival since about 17, 18 but um, yeah, that's, uh, it's good banter and um, it's good fun sailing against him. And by the final day, it was the two local skippers battling it out. The wave had rarely been unplaced all week and Lee McMillan's crew had a comfortable buffer ahead of the final double points race. Luna Rossa would need to finish seven places ahead of the Imani boat to win the title. Campbell James did everything he could he steered Luna Rossa to victory, but Lee McMillan's fourth place was enough to secure the Wave Muscat overall win in Cowes. At one point it looked like we, uh, it was out of our hands, and, uh, but we managed just to get back past a couple of boats that we needed to to secure the, to secure the victory, and it's just a fantastic feeling to win here in Cowes. It was the Omani team's first regatta win in 2011, and with four acts left to play, they'll be hoping it won't be the last. <laughs> 